when our son Grayson was two weeks old, he caught a virus that attacked his organs and he, we almost lost him. Having a two week old that's in the hospital, you don't know what will be. And I think just having an organization that will surprise you with a meal or surprise you with a box of stuff when you don't even think about it, like spending Shabbos in the hospital, I didn't even think about it. But I, you know, what will I do? But they just gave me everything that I would need so that I would feel comfortable even in the most uncomfortable situation. I remember clearly one day we were home and I saw this package at our door. You know, my wife was in the hospital, I was with my other son. It was just, a, you know, a box full of every vegetable and fruit you can imagine. Someone from High Lifeline went to the farmer's market, picked it up and dropped it off at our house, knowing that we might not have time to go to the grocery store and they just did that for us. Thank God, you know, with the prayers from this community and support from family, friends, High Lifeline, Joe DiMaggio, Children's Hospital, he, as quickly as he got sick, is as quickly as he got better. And he's three years old and doing well, and thank God, he's, he's good. Ever since that time, we felt a purpose to, to really spread the word about the organization and to give back to the organization. Zelda from High Lifeline approached me about doing an after school program here at BMA called iShine. iShine is for children who have sick parents, who may have a sick sibling, or who may be sick themselves. The point is to create a fun and kind of carefree environment for these children to come and be creative and hang out with other friends and have dinner in a very relaxed atmosphere without their parents having to worry about them. In the summer, I run a camp, uh, Camp Kafir, and we decided at shortly after this happened that what better organization to give back to than High Lifeline and Camp Simcha. So we did a Chayathon during the summer and we had all the kids um, come up with you know, creative ways to raise money. I got calls and texts that my kid is selling lemonade on the side, my kid's doing car washes, my kid's doing this, and it was really amazing. And, and I'm happy to say that this past summer, Camp Kafir raised over $10,000 for Camp Simcha. We're so happy that we can use our platform and our positions and our jobs to be able to promote High Lifeline and spread awareness about what they do and how they change lives. It is really the small things that you don't think about. They, they are there for you in your time of need. And what they do for, for people in situations similar to us is, is, is amazing. They really just all came together in support of us. We will never be able to thank them enough for how they got us through such a challenging time.